no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net Every time there's a horrific massacre of all American proportions in this country, we have the exact same gun control debate, or should I say, the same gun control whining, screaming, yelling, shitty ruckus of a pissing contest. One side says, this wouldn't happen if there were more gun control. And the other side says, don't take away my rights just because one crackpot with a Glock took out a schoolroom. I don't take away your right to bear cheese every time someone knocks a guy over the head with a block of camembert, bitch. I'm only going to address one part of this continuous bickering, but I think it's the most important part. Some people act like they're against gun control, when in fact, we're all for some kind of gun slash weapon control. I have yet to meet anyone who says we should be allowed to have a nuclear bomb on our porch or a grenade launcher in our bedroom. Very few people defend your right to own a tank or keep a dirty bomb in your pants. Too many puns to choose from. And if the military created a laser handgun tomorrow that could shoot through everything from New York to Idaho in a single shot, every person, creature, house, barn, every Applebee's, Chuck E. Cheese, construction site, and beast you like, in one pull of the trigger, I think very few people would argue that everyone should be allowed to sit down at a dinner with one in their pocket. No one seems to claim that their Second Amendment rights are infringed upon because they can't own a home Panasonic atom bomb. Um, my point is that people say they are against gun control, but clearly everyone is for some weapon control of varying degrees. If you're not, you're more psychotic than the love child of Kim Jong-un and Mad Dog Tannen. So let's stop this nonsense where people say gun slash weapon control doesn't solve problems. If that were the case, then there would be a, a lot of people proposing that we each have our own nuclear arsenal. So the question is not whether the weapons in this country should have any control at all. We all agree they should. The question is instead where to draw the line, at what level or size of gun. Arguing that because someone doesn't want assault rifles on the streets, they are therefore opposed to your entire Second Amendment right makes as much sense as saying that because I think an adult man should not be allowed to have sex with a 13-year-old, I'm therefore opposed to your right to have a consensual fuck of any kind. Or that because you believe the speed limit should be 65 miles per hour, you're therefore opposing the entire right to drive a car. The world is not black and white. Stop behaving like goddamn children for one fucking second, and maybe we can then have a civil debate about the proper laws in this country. That's been your moment of clarity. My live comedy album is free for a limited time at LeeCamp.net. Just go there to download it. If you like what you hear, consider becoming a supporting member to help keep Moment of Clarity going. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.